Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL tutorial with Learn at NoStar. In today's video, we are going to write a query to find out the employee manager hierarchy in a recursive manner, which basically means that if you want to find out the manager name of an employee, you can write a self-join query and find out the manager of that particular employee. But if you want to find out all the levels of hierarchy, which means if you have a manager, then you have an associate manager below that manager and you have an employee associated with the associate manager, then you have two levels of hierarchy so you need to find out all these two levels of hierarchy and not just the immediate manager of the employee so we are going to be working with the employee data it's a simple data you have the employee id employee name and manager id we can ignore the department id over here now if we look at the data then we see that whenever the manager id is null that means that he is the topmost manager in the organization so this one the employee id 7 is the manager and if we start with the employee so let's start with the first employee we see that the manager of employee name adam is manager id 3 if we go to employee id 3 over here then that means that hillary is the manager of adams whose manager in turn is manager id 4 okay which is the employee id manager id is the same as the employee id so if we go to the record for the employee id 4 we see that richard is the manager for hillary who has a manager with employee id 6 and then who in turn has a manager with employee id 7 so we want to find out all these levels of hierarchy and we are going to denote the levels with simple numbers so zero means he is the topmost manager employee hierarchy level one means you there's an super uh, there is an employee who immediately reports to this manager and so on we'll drill down till two three and whatever is the employee hierarchy so we've already done a video on writing a self-join to just find out the immediate manager of the employee let's do a quick revision of that it's a pretty simple query the only thing that you need to do over there is apply a self-join but we need to understand how that works to write our query today okay so we have we have selected data from this employee table and we have given it an alias as employee uh, let's just take the employee name over here as employee name and then we are going to uh, join this this is going to be self join self join means we are going to join with the same table so we are going to create another instance of the same table so we are just going to put in a join over here use the same table again but give it a different alias so let's call it manager this time and we are going to join it on employee dot manager id so this would be manager id would be three over here manager id equal to manager dot employee id so now we are going to find out the manager name which would be corresponding to the employee id three right so we are going to write that over here employee id and then we are going to use this over here as manager dot employee name as manager name okay so now we have these queries over here where we can just execute this query okay so there's a spelling mistake here let's correct it first employee id and if we execute this query we would get the name of the employee and the manager name of the employee so this is a simple self join but here we do we just find out the name of the immediate manager what if i want to find out the entire hierarchy so in that case we have to write a recursive query so let's write a recursive query now to write a recursive query the first thing that we need to do is create uh, or use a CDE which is a common table expression so we are going to put the CDE as with um, let's call it employee manager CDE as open brackets and select so the first step is to select all the managers 
how can we identify if, if an employee is a manager if the employee id is manager is null that means the base we are putting a base condition for this recursive query which is going to give us all the employees who do not have a manager above them so the ultimate the head head manager of the organization so to do that again let's just say let's just select employee id employee name and let's select manager id as well from the table and since this is the ultimate boss we are going to give him the employee level as zero because there is nobody above this person okay so zero as employee level from our table from dbo dot employee okay now how do we identify we have to put this where condition where manager id is null okay so this is going to return or if we just execute this query we can find out what it is going to return for us so we just execute this it is going to return for us the the topmost boss of the organization or the topmost manager of the organization who doesn't have a manager on top of him all right so we get one record out of this query now this one record obviously is not enough now we need to find out all the employees who report to this manager at different levels so to find out all those employees we are going to use a union all condition so that we can club the records together and then again we are going to reference the same table so select let's just select everything from here okay and okay so we are going to select from the same base table which is our dbo.employee now just to distinguish let's call it emp over here and let's use that alias over here emp.employee id emp.employee name emp.manager id and here as employee level what we are going to do okay so before uh, generating the employee level we are going to reference this CT or the common table expression that we are generating so that it becomes a recursive query. So whatever is the output that comes out of this CT, the expression will go in a loop and keep on outputting results until there are no further rows to be outputted. So we have to reference the output of this CT. So to do that, we can use an inner join over here and we can just call the CD name and let's call it as manager so let's give it an alias so that we can reference the columns from the CT so now the base level that we assigned to the topmost manager was zero for the employees who report to him immediately we're going to assign the level of one and then for the employees who report to that manager the second level manager we are going to assign them the level of two and so on so what we are doing in effect is we are going to keep on adding or incrementing the employee level by one so what is our base employee level that we are incrementing upon whatever is the output of this cte so here we have referenced the cte mgr which is our CD over here and then we have added simply added a one to the employee level okay so we'll discuss the output then it will be more clear to you that what exactly we are doing over here okay so we have defined them in a join so we know from which two tables now we are going to collect the data what would be the condition of the join so you have to write on employee so what is the result of this this is going to output all the employees all the records from your base table this is what it is going to do so for all the records from the base table we are going to get the manager id of all those employees what is or uh, what are all the output from the base table all the output from the base table is all the employees so we are going to pick the manager id of all the employees one by one and then we are going to again reference our cde 
and whatever is the employee id that comes out of that cde so whatever is the employee id that has been outputted by the cde who is essentially the manager at some level we are going to reference his employee id all right so that we have all the levels over here okay so now we have this query with we have this cde and the next step would be to select some data from this cde so let's select just do a select star from the cde which is employee manager cde and let's order by the employee level so that it is clear to us what is happening okay so now we have a query if we run this whole query together so the first part of the query we have created a cde and in the second part of the query we have selected all the records from the cde so now let's execute this query okay so we have got a type don't match because for employee level we are adding a one and here we have defined it as a string so we have to define it as an integer so let's take out the quotes from here and now execute this query again okay so now if we execute this query we get the desired result so what we have got in the result is first of all we have got employee level zero who's the topmost manager who doesn't have a manager on top of him so the manager id here is null now how many employees report directly to this manager so we have the employee level of one for those employees so there are two employees who report directly to jenny right then the employees who report directly to either Samuel Pitt or Mark Miles, all those employees will be marked as employee level 2. So these are the employees who report either to Samuel or Mark, as we can see over here. So this employee, Richard, he reports to Mark because his manager ID is 6. And this employee over here, Smith Jones, he reports to Samuel because his employee ID, the manager ID corresponding to his name is uh, Samuel or employee ID 5 and similarly you have the levels as 3 and 4 so what exactly is happening in this recursive query to understand that let's let's select all the original records from the table as well select star from dbo.employee okay let's run both these queries in parallel let's take a query Okay, let's enlarge the output window. Okay, so these are your original records from your table, base table, and this is the output of your recursive query. So what happens in the first part of the recursive query? So the first part, if we go over here, okay, the first part of your recursive query is called your base, the base of your recursive query or the base level of your recursive query in the base the first step we are just selecting the the employees who do not have a manager on top of them all right so the topmost managers of the organization those are the ones we are selecting so that is your base level now in the second part of this query since we are referencing the cte itself in the cde definition it becomes a recursive query now how many rounds of recursion are happening that we can understand by looking again at the output over here in the first round so the query the output of the base level of your query is this one record the very first record so everybody whose manager id is null so there's just one person we get this one record after the union all the recursive part of the query starts so in the first round of the recursion what it searches for is all the employees whose manager id is seven so it finds two records for whose uh, for whom the manager id is seven and it puts them as employee level one because we have added one every time to the employee level coming from the output of the cd so in the first round of the output we got this one record the employee level was zero in the second round we added one to it so we got the level of employees as one and we got all the employees who directly report to employee id seven now in the in the next round of recursion what is going to happen is it is going to find all the employees 
whose manager id is either five or six which means that it is going to search for all the employees whose manager id falls in the output the previous output of the recursive query the previous output had employee ids five and six so it is going to match the employee ids five and six as the manager id from the original table okay and where have we specified that condition we have specified that condition over here that is what we are saying that whatever is the whatever is the employee's manager id from the original data match it with the employee id from which was the output of your cte so in the second round what is going to happen is it is going to find all the employees whose managers are either employee id 6 or 5 so it will find all these employees these two employees because their managers are either 6 or 5 okay in the next round what is going to happen again it is going to search for any output any employees whose manager id falls in the output of the previous recursive query the output of the previous recursive query is 4 and 2 so all the employees whose manager IDs are either 4 or 2. And here it finds only one employee whose manager ID is 4. So it gives it an employee level of 4. In the next round, what it is going to do, it is going to find the employees whose manager ID is 3. Okay, so it finds one employee whose manager ID is 3 and puts it as employee level 3. Four. So if you want to understand the whole hierarchy, what this basically means is that this is the topmost manager. He has two employees reporting directly to him. Those two employees in turn, ha in turn have two more employees reporting to them. And out of those two employees, you have this employee who reports to Richard. Okay. And there's one employee reporting to Hillary as well, which is Adams. So this is a whole hierarchy that comes out of this recursive query. So if you want to find out all the levels of hierarchy in the employee manager hierarchy relationship, then you have to write a recursive query. You cannot just write a self join and find out just the immediate manager because a self join only gives the immediate manager of the employee. So I hope that you found this useful. If you did, then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. Bye.